Ja, das ist diese Give us 2.2 seconds. It's probably a slight delay. We will be in your presence in your funky time. I know I said 6.30, people, but it's actually 7, so that was my bad. We got people that's tuning in. Healthy stuff there. Okay. We got pomegranate juice that's low in carbs. We got sugar-free prickly pear. Yeah, I don't even do that. <laughs> so, hey, everybody, we are in the building. We are waiting for Shane. He'll be up here in a second, but it's Tuesday. We're about to rock it out like we normally do on Tuesday. So, we normally go around the table and say what everyone is drinking, but right now there's only two of us in here, so we're going to start out with me and Sam. So, Sam is our guest today, aka the Love Guru 81 on Instagram if you want to follow him and look at his social media antics. But actually, he has good posts. Um, they're really thought provoking. Uh, post a lot about stuff with women that women should probably listen to and we often don't but sometimes it's the hard truth and it's good stuff on there so Sam what are you drinking today? So you gave me where is the bottle? <laughs> um, I gave you this. Sugar free vodka <laughs> smearing off strawberry rose infused with infused uh, yes okay not just infused not just so it's infused with Ozaka sparkling Ozarka okay Ozarka <laughs> <laughs> and then peach bitters it's like a whole kamikaze of health yes you're yes. not gonna get oh me, and, uh, and uh, pomegranate juice so and pomegranate does that taste better now or is it still off? it's a little bit better <laughs> 
a little bit better. All right. So that's what Sam is drinking, a, a keto-friendly drink, even though he's not doing keto. But nobody wants to get fat. Actually, I am home. doing keto. So I'm doing keto. Oh, are you? But I, I've been cheating a lot I see your food that you've been weeks. cooking. I haven't seen any. That is not keto. Yeah. The, the, you had some pasta. Yeah, it was very little. It was like wheat. Uh, it was gluten-free. Gluten-free is not keto. Ram, gram ram, carbs. Probably like... Stuff I can do. I burn, but I work out like a beast. Okay. But I, that's not my my problem. My problem so is I eat a lot of sweets. Carbs. Yeah, I eat a lot of sweets. Okay. okay. So I gotta stop there. Okay. What's up, my What's man? Up? Nice to see What's you. What's up, baby? What's going on? <clears throat> Slide on down. Okay. So we just kind of were introducing what we were drinking. I'm swinging, swinging can you come down here a little bit? So you Actually, we can um, we can show this. Yeah. Myself. Um, it's a the other kind is there too. Um, so you were just kind of going around the table saying what we were drinking, um, okay. like we normally do. Well, I'm not drinking anything yet, yeah, but I see my cup here. Your <laughs> cup is ready. It has ice in it. It is your regular rock and roll. So we are ready to go. We are. Mm-hmm. Well, Michelle, what are you drinking today? Oh Lord. I should be just drinking water, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> just little, get right to it. Just a little tequilius. Just get right on to it today. Tequilius. Oh, you got the vanilla. I like that right there. I'm oh, talking about that. Right there. We should be happy. All right. Good. We are. So, Shane, you were caught up in a little traffic today? Uh, well, I got off work late. Okay. But shout out to the um, what's that called in the middle of the house? The, the express, 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 express lane. Oh yeah, it's legit. Yeah, I mean I was flying by and fifty nine was backed up for miles. You know they closed the lane on both sides, so. Oh okay. Um, it's it's horrible, but and it was four twenty five to ride in that lane. Yeah. Uh, so what? Three miles. Uh, so it comes off your um. Yes, but I'm in a loaner car. Uh-huh. Oh, so hey. And they told me, <laughs> use the tollways all you want. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. You got to tell me but one time, I ain't on a regular freeway at all. Y'all can keep my car as long <laughs> as you need to. I don't normally take the toll, right. but today. But you got, <laughs> today you got on the tollway and got right back off. Just the right. <laughs> one, one exit. Right. Right. No, I mean, I came from downtown. It was a good seven, eight miles. Oh, yeah, you oh, right. Yeah. Dang, that's expensive. I didn't know it was that much. I'll be getting on there like ten minutes. Well, it depends on which way they you're price going. It according to the time and the amount of traffic. And the oh, traffic. Okay. So for me to get on it, um, like from past highway six or right over there mm-hmm. to come all the way to six ten is sixty cents. But I'm oh, going against the traffic. Everybody's going out to Katie. I wonder how much it is for me when I go into two ninety from ten. I've and seen then, it as high as like oh, yeah, seven it's, dollars and change. It's not it's not that much because everybody's really coming in, into downtown. I have to look because I just write it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Hi, dudes. Alright, did we talk about why we were happy to y'all? Not yet. Oh, let's, we let's will get to it. Tia, why are you happy to Let's keep this one. Um, why am I happy? I'm happy because. Uh, they say, is there a direct link? I sent it to you. Oh, that does say right there, right? Hmm? Um, I'm happy today because I'm happy today. I'm happy today because I it, I don't I have nothing. I don't I'm just happy, I guess. I don't really have a specific reason. I almost died on Sunday, so I'm happy that I feel better today. I don't I was like doing good and then after I did my meal prep order stuff for my people, like my scout Started like my scalp was sore, my TMJ joint was sore, like Your my throat, hoop. my temporal mandibular joint. Listen, all of us. Are <laughs> <the practice. laughs> so you know. The I was like, Tom, join a what? Yeah, your throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my throat, like all of this whole and like if I touched it, it hurt like my. And I was like, what? And the hell happened? I, I, just, I don't know. Like I just, 
It just happened. So I'm thinking what happened because I feel like you're trying to be funny. So I went to the um, Candy Sophia thing on Saturday. And they're like, Charms. right, yeah, Marshmallow everywhere. Pit. The kids were in there. Ugh. And I was like, when I thought about it, I was like, that's probably what happened. So I went to the doctor and he said that I had like a slight ear infection. So, Ugh. yeah, some medicine. I can hear it. Yeah. Some sickness in your voice. I was, I was doing bad. Midnight love. Skate I know, right? DJ voice off. Hey. All right, Mr. <laughs> Sam, what's going on with you? Why are you happy today? My Cowboys were uh, voted by Emory. So Emory University did a study, mm -hmm. and they studied, like, the amount of revenue generated by a team for paraphernalia, yeah. uh, the amount of uh, coverage they get on social media, uh, ticket sales, it was about five criteria. Mm -hmm. And the Cowboys blew everybody away. That's nothing so new. They've been, they've been the highest revenue generating team for a long time. But they didn't just go by it. They, they went by just, they, they didn't go just by it. It was like the amount of coverage on social media. Right, because the Cowboys everybody. fans are all over. They're Everywhere. America's team. No, they're not America's team. Everywhere. I mean, um, you and I know that. But, but you can't what tell I will say that. is that <laughs> the hate is really strong also. So, if you're only counting positive publicity, and but if you count the negative as well, yeah. Any publicity? Because I mean, I've got a meme that say, if you a Cowboys fan, I won't date you. Well, <laughs> if you're not? If you are. Uh, I never had that problem. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michelle, why are you happy today? Man, I'm happy to be alive and safe. Um, I found myself in a really... Near death experiences. I found myself in a really uncool situation on Saturday. Um, I have a habit of falling asleep in my car, and um, while it's operating, sometimes while I'm driving, like yesterday, I almost fell asleep driving to work. I'm like, I just woke up. Why are you sleepy? Uh, it could be the end of the night after dinner, or whatever. This was after a night of fun, but <clears throat> I fell asleep in my car and woke up to someone trying to rob me. And <laughs> yeah. Were you parked? I was really? parked yes, yes. Yes. downtown. Just like you literally just was like, driving and was like, I'm gonna pull over and park and go to sleep. I walked it. to my car, got in my car, and never turned it on and drove off. I just fell asleep in the car. But tell me I would drive I would drive home and fall asleep like, in the parking lot, like in my parking spot at home. I've done it I wake up two hours later, like, oh man. Like, it's well, kind of crazy. I didn't know that about you. We've yeah, been friends for a long time. It's kind of weird. When I was in undergrad, one of my friends made up a story about how much she can do it anyway or just fall asleep. My very first time going out in college, I fell asleep with my head leaning on the speaker. Like, just, just like that. You got nerve So, I don't know. I've never been diagnosed, but it's real quick. It's, it happens real quick. Um, but in this case, no tequila was abused in the making of this disaster. Uh, <laughs> there was a little bit of vodka, which I don't normally drink, but anyway. Um, but at one point, I must have opened the door and then didn't lock it back. And so my keys were right there. And the guy, like, opened my door, got my keys, and he popped the trunk. And I woke up when I heard the trunk pop. And he was going through my stuff. And he had my phone and my keys in his hand. And I just, well, I don't know, sleep me was real bold and stupid. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. But I got out the car, snatched my keys and my phone out of his hand, I slammed my trunk, and got back in the car and drove off. Isn't that crazy? Like, because, like, the, why that is wild. The dude just let her take the stuff. Like, what are you I doing think I something? scared him. Because he That's thought I was just knocked out asleep. I she was dead or something. Yeah. So he was going to steal her stuff and yeah. thought she was dead? And you probably got a. My trunk was, my purse was in the trunk, right. everything. Everything. You keep That's everything crazy. in your car. Yeah, like a homeless person. Mm -hmm. Let's not do that again. Please. That is wild. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. Yeah. I hope my mom and I watch it. <laughs> oh, she'll be watching. She won't go back and watch from the beginning. Wow. Oh, I'll tell her. No. <laughs> Too bad. So, yeah, she's lucky to be here. Yes. Yeah. So, Shane, why are you happy? I'm happy because my eyes right now are, are set forward on next week. Oh, it's a, a good way. Weekend. It's a three day yeah. work week. Hey. Um, for me, and I'm going on a trip to Las Vegas. Hey, hey. So I'm oh, looking to forward to that. I will. I will. That's why I'm happy. So I guess um, let me just get right on into these stories that I have for today. Okay. Guess what, guys? Chicken what? butt. Chicken butt. Guess what? Chicken, Chicken butt. Uh, Illinois. 
mm-hmm. has now become the 11th state in the union to legalize recreational marijuana. Yes, come on, Texas. Our youth is I feel like Texas is going to be the last. Maybe Texas behind Texas. Mississippi. I was going to say we're going to be 48. <laughs> in Alabama. Alabama, Mississippi. 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 They already do. They're, they're already, already making there. it. They're waiting. So they're, they're, they're they exist. So they fight. They fight. I have three white friends that were putting in money waiting for them to say go green. So Illinois is now the 11th state in the United States to legalize the purchase and possession of recreational marijuana. The governor signed the bill today, so it allows adults over the age of 21 in the state to buy and possess small amounts of marijuana. Mm. If you are a resident of the state, you can buy. You can purchase and possess up to 30 grams of cannabis, uh, 5 grams of concentrate, or cannabis-infused products, and no more than 500 milligrams of THC. Non-residents can go into the state and purchase half of those um, amounts. Um, so is that like the CBD oils and that kind of stuff? All that kind of okay. stuff. Under the law, medical patients will also be allowed to grow their own marijuana plants, um, just as long as they cannot be seen from the street or in, from so put it on the back window seal. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Interesting. And I hope that your house faces east. Right. So, what if it's facing the street? I imagine. What is that like a known nuisance or something? It would attract people, thieves. Okay. Yeah. Um, Employers can still enforce a zero tolerance policy. Right. Um, but the best thing about this is that um, people who have records will have those records. If you're a nonviolent offender, 